If you've seen some of my past build videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of dowel joinery. That is until I get a domino. So sometimes I like using this center finding drilling guide block and it's great, but it has its limitations. I can easily use it for edge to edge joinery like this because it can only be used on the edges of your workpiece. It gets a bit more complicated when doing edge to face joining. Sometimes I use dowel points for marking the corresponding holes on the faces of the wood, but I don't really love this method. And other times I make drilling templates that are specific for each project, but those are really just one time use jigs. So I was in the market for a new dowel jig. And while looking for the options out there, I figured that maybe this could be something that I could just make myself. Before we get started, huge thank you to this week's sponsor, Woodcraft, where you can actually purchase a dowel jig and you don't have to go through the trouble of making one. The one that I'm basing this off of is actually pretty inexpensive, so I'll put the link down below for you guys to check out. Just like dowel joinery, I wanted to make this as easy as possible, so I drew up a template and I cut the pieces of three quarter inch plywood to the dimensions that I drew out. And I'm gonna use some spray adhesive to <laughs> attach the template. All right, now I'm gonna try my best to line this up so that it's perfectly straight and square. It's good to me. I'm just gonna leave this piece extra long so it will be easier to clamp down when drilling. Before drilling out these holes, I'm just going to take the center line that's on the template and I'm going to bring it down onto both sides of the jig and this is going to be useful for when you're actually using the jig. I also want to use an awl in all the crosshairs so that the hole will be drilled perfectly in the center of those holes. This way the bit won't wander and everything will be nice and even. I'm gonna drill these out with the drill press, but you can use a hand drill if that's what you have. And this fence piece is going to lock into the jig with a bolt, so I'm going to drill a recessed hole to hold the head of the bolt. So the jig has two slots on it, one that's an open slot on the top over here and one that's a closed slot that's in the middle over here. This open slot is super easy to do on the bandsaw or a jigsaw. The closed one is a bit trickier. I'm going to do this by making multiple plunge cuts on my router table, but there are lots of other ways that you could do this. And now that the slot is cut in, I could refine the shape of the handle on the bandsaw. This jig is going to be able to drill 3 8 inch holes for the 3 8 inch dowels. So in order for it to not wear out the jig, I'm going to use this steel tubing and a half inch steel tube that has quarter inch walls is the perfect fit for a 3 8 inch drill bit. So you can cut this metal rod with a hacksaw like this, but I have this really cool portable bandsaw. So that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> Just scuff this up a little bit and epoxy it into place.
Now for the three eighths dowels that go into these holes over here, I was going to use these ready-made dowels, but I'm feeling a little fancy today. So I'm going to make my own out of walnut. And now I'm just going to glue them into place. Oh, I forgot to cut this to size. <laughs> I'll do it after the glue dries, I guess. And I guess in the end, these holes didn't need to go all the way through, but whatever. And set these off to dry. After some final shaping and sanding, both of the pieces are done. Now let's see how it works. So since these two dowels are equally spaced between this hole in the center over here, if you take the jig and twist it to the side, it will always be in the center. This hole will always be in the center of the edge of your board. So I'm gonna drill out a few holes in the edge of this board using a stop collar on my drill bit set to the correct depth. Not too bad, but so far this jig is no different than this one because all I did was drill in the center of the edge of this board. But what this jig cannot do is drill in the perfect location on the face of a mating board so that the two pieces meet at a 90 degree angle. So that's where this second piece comes into play. So I'm just going to put this into the slot, put a bolt in here, a washer, and tighten it, not all the way, just loosely so that it slides back and forth. And the reason why I added the two dowels on the side of the bolt over here is so that this piece does not go from side to side. This top part will always remain square and this piece is going to stay straight within the slot. So this is going to set the distance for where to drill the matching hole on the mating piece. In order to get that perfect distance, all I need to do is put the jig onto the dowel on the first board that I drilled out and slide this, this fence piece up until it hits the face of the board and lock it down. Now there is a perfect distance over here. So if I were to drill onto the face of this board, these pieces would match up and be flush on the edge. Before moving on, I decided to epoxy the bolt into place so that I can fully tighten it. In order to drill the matching holes, I want to make sure that this fence is butt up against the edge of the board. And then I just place the first board that I drilled out, leaving a little gap by the edge here just so that to make sure that this, this uh, fence is truly against the edge here. Just want to align it with one of the dowels. Make sure that these edges are flush or wherever you want them. And now I'm going to clamp it down. All right, let's see if this works. I adjusted the stop collar on the drill bit so that it will drill the correct depth hole. Now I'm just going, whoop, my table's moving, <laughs> hold on. So in order for the holes in the second piece to line up with the first one, all I need to do is place the jig so this little notch is around one of the dowels of the first board and hopefully it will line up. And I'll just repeat the same thing to the other holes. Okay. Let's see how it fits. That is perfectly flush along there. I'm super happy with that. But now let's say I wanted to drill the holes in the center of the board and not close to the edge. I drew out a random center line on this board and that's where I'm going to want to attach this board like that in the middle over here. So the process starts out the same. You would first drill on the edge of the first board and then for to use this jig, you have to remove the fence piece. 
but this is where those center lines that I drew out come into play. You would want to line up your board. Actually, I need a support piece because these pieces are too short, just like that. So I'm going to put this dowel from the first board into the notch again from the jig. I'm going to push it until both of my center lines are on my line where I want to attach this board. So now I'm going to clamp this board down and drill away. All right. And let's see how that fits. pretty awesome. How cool is that? So this actually turned out better than I thought that it would. I didn't think that it would be this precise and I did not think that I was going to get such a flush edge over here. I really thought I was going to have to tweak it a lot. I did end up having to sand one of the dowels a little bit because I found that it was not fully drilling in the center. So that's just something to note. You can always make adjustments on it if you find that it's not perfect. I see just one limitation with this jig and that's it's only for one size. So I don't really see that as an issue because I mostly use 3 8 dowels in my projects, but I'm sure that somebody could figure out a way to make this more versatile and make it used for multiple size dowels. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Woodcraft for sponsoring this video. I will put a link down to the jig that I based this off of and other tools that I used in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm kind of really stoked about this. So um, see you on the next one.